WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 606. NASDAQ is up uh, 148. S&P is up 65. Gold. Gold contract up $12.50, trading at 1860 an ounce. We have silver up 14 cents, $21.82 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $110. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 18 ticks, trading 119.18. The 30 year up a full point and a half at 140.06. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down 1,070 ticks, 102.079. It looks like we have a failure at the highs after a breakout. And it's going to get really interesting now. The Dollar, folks, has been a consolidation since 2015. So when you get a, a basically a break off the high, after you've already broken out, you have a failure, guess what? Now you're talking 82. 82 is the other side of this. And yeah, that'll be two or three years, but the bottom line looks like it failed at that high. Now you go south. The year is at 106. The yen's at 127.90. And the British pound's at 125 to one US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P first. And we, we did on Friday, you get divergence on Friday. So the, the S&P is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. The NDX 100 isn't. The NDX 100 broke the B, but didn't have the volume. Uh, the SPY had the volume. Now, it's going to be interesting here today. What you should get is this. You're going to have a sideways to probably higher move this week with a contraction of volume. Um, that being said, if the SPY can't close over 397.03 today, that is going to get really intriguing because that was the high of Friday. It should be able to close over that level. You're going to have a monster contraction of volume no matter what happens. Right now, the S&P is only have 54 million versus the 131 uh, that we had done on Friday. That was breaking the 125. We look at the NDX 100, a little bit different story. Same bar, though, that you can keep your eye on. So... And the NDX, the bottom line is the Q's got 91 million and they needed more than 120. That being said, the high of Friday is this uh, 293.80 and we made it to 293.07 today. And if, guess what? If you can't close over it, man, it's just going to go sideways all week, building cars for lower price. That's how these babies shake out. Gold. Gold contract caught a bit out here. Bottom line inside the gold contract, you know, we are trading out now at the price point of... Uh, 13, uh, up 13 bucks at uh, 18.61, and that's all about good old U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is trading down hard, man. I mean, this is uh, down, you know, it just broke, not only just uh, got inside the, you know, lower range, it broke the lower range. We just broke the 102, 352. Let's say in the next stop, uh, bottom line, somewhere down here at 100, then the next stop is 99. Come right back, folks. Stay right there. Sharp